If there was ever a Guinness World Record for a sniper getting that award for having the longest talk and park in a movie, well, this is it. Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this review whether you're new or returning, really appreciate you just sparing your time to check out this spoiler free review. Now I was sent this early by the awesome folks over at Shudder so a big thank you to them as always for sending me one of their movies to check out and review for the channel. This one is called Night of the Hundred and it's directed by Frank Calfoon. And this basically tells a story of a character called Alice who stops at a gas station very late in the night. However, she is hunted by a sniper who is not willing to let her leave that gas station. Just to interrupt this video very quickly, if you aren't aware by now, I do have a Patreon. The link is a link tree down below in the description box. You can buy my book, you can shop merch and so much extra stuff. Request movies via PayPal. With Patreon, memberships do only start from £1 per month. You get so much much access to so much early stuff including reviews that you'll not see here on to the channel you get access to polls competitions goodies giveaways and all that good stuff that's over there on patreon and i do want to give a special thank you to all those people who do support my patreon absolute legends love them all really appreciate the support and you can join today by clicking the link down below now Let's get back to the video. I was only sent the poster and synopsis for this before going into it. I never watched the trailer and I'm glad I didn't because I know the trailer pretty much shows most of the movie. So I will say this definitely had potential. There was elements that I liked, but unfortunately it does suffer from quite a few negatives, which for me held this movie back but before we go into those negatives we've got to go into the positives firstly the cinematography is done really well you get that feeling of isolation desperation and the fact there's nowhere to go because alice as i mentioned in the plot is stuck in this gas station or petrol station you want to call it here in the uk yeah so in this gas station however this sniper is hanging basically kind of in the distance where we see this billboard saying God is now here. The sniper is up there and is constantly, you know, firing at the gas station. I liked the premise. I thought the premise was pretty easy to follow, but also just very intriguing because I like those kind of like stalker, kind of intense and fine kind of movies. And I always think that they make for, or could make for, an interesting watch. Camille Rowe plays Alice, and I think she does a good job for what she's given. And the character... Yeah, can make some dumb decisions, but overall does make some wise decisions also, which I can appreciate. The final positive I can say is when there is some practical effects and some blood used, they're done well. There's some good and kind of gruesome kills at times as well, which I can truly appreciate. However, that's where the positives end, unfortunately, because this movie suffers from kind of borderline boredom at times i will say the first kind of 20 minutes i was invested i was on board i was like wow okay where's this going to go this is who i may be suspecting who is this sniper and i was wrong which was nice unfortunately after that 20 minutes as i mentioned in kind of the intro this sniper does not shut the hell up they are constantly talking throughout the duration of the movie you might get maybe five minute silence in this hour 32 hour 37 minutes the motive for the sniper is also very weak it involves something to do with america that's all i'll say without spoilers and i just thought it was very weak for a movie that had a great premise but absolutely fails to deliver on it because this was beaming with potential I really wanted to like this movie. I wanted to like it maybe as much as Phone Booth back in the early 2000s, but I absolutely didn't. So I'm going to give this movie a score of a 2 out of 5. So you've heard my opinion, now it's time for yours. Have you seen Night of the Hunted? Are you going to check it out on Friday the 20th of October? Or are you going to bypass this one? We'll leave your comments down below so we can continue the discussion down there. If you enjoy horror reviews, be sure to hit the red subscribe button as I have plenty of them and plenty more to come as I get screeners from Shudder and also check out horrors in the cinema and other kind of smaller independent horror movies. If you've liked the review, give it a thumbs up and until the next time that I see you, I'll be seeing 
you later.